set him down in the Garden of Eden to till it and watch over it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Every fruit of the garden you may freely eat, but from the tree of knowledge, good and evil, you shall not eat. For on the day that you eat from it, you are doomed to die. And the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a fitting helper for him. And the Lord God cast a deep sleep upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed over the flesh where it had been. And the Lord God fashioned the rib he had taken from the man into a woman. And he brought her to the man. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the beasts the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Even though God said you shall not eat from the tree in the garden, you shall not be doomed to die. And the woman saw that the tree was good for eating. And she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave to her man, and he ate. And the eyes of the two were opened, and they knew they were naked. And the Lord God called to the man and said, The tree that I commanded you not to eat, have you eaten? And the man said, The woman that you gave to be with me, she gave me from the tree, and, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. And I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Cursed be you of all the cattle and beasts of the field. And on your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. And to the woman he said, Your man shall be your longing, and he shall rule you. And to Adam he said, Because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree, by the sweat of your brow shall you eat bread until you return to the ground. And the Lord God made coats for the man and the woman, and he clothed them. And the Lord God sent him forth from the garden, and he drove the man out and set up east of the Garden of Eden the cherubim and the flame of the whirling sword to guard the way to the tree of life. 